Welcome to Marina's Kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make uh, apricot berry crumble cake. Uh, it is very nice because you have the cake mixture and then you put a nice crumble on top of it. Uh, we put, uh, we've got apricots and we've got berries through it. Now I'm going to show you how to make it. What we need first of all we need is uh, a cup of caster sugar, we need uh, a cup of self-raising flour, uh, I've got three eggs here, teaspoon of cinnamon and uh, 150 gram of butter, softened butter, uh, some vanilla and I've gone ahead and uh, mixed these all up for you so I'm just going to show you, I just got the cake batter here, I've mixed it all up, just give it a little bit, just put everything in together and just mix it round. It only takes a couple of minutes to get them all together. It only takes a couple of minutes to put it all together. It's so easy because you can just put everything in together and it's so quick. So what I've done that, I've mixed all that up first and I've, uh, I'm going to put my apricots in now. What you do is uh, I've got eight halves of tinned syrup apricots. Uh, strain them out and what I've done is I've sliced them up in little slices, just like that. And now I've got 125 gram of berries. You can have you can have uh, uh, raspberries or blueberries, but I got mixed berries here. If you've got them frozen, I like to thaw them out, or you can have the fresh ones. Uh, these are frozen ones which I have thawed out and they are all mixed. I've got the blueberries and the raspberries and the blueberries and uh, other berries mixed up in it. So what we do now is just that we just fold it through the mixture. So what I'm going to do is I'll put my blueberries in first. And then I'll put my apricot. There's eight halves there as I slice them all up. Just put that all through. In the meantime I've got my oven on uh, 180 degree and we'll bake this for about 40 to 45 minutes. So now all I've done is I'm folding that through that mixture which was very quick. Just put everything in the bowl just mix it up for a couple of minutes, not even, and then just fold in your berries and your apricot pieces. Now, I have lined a 23 centimetres square cake tin. I have greased it and I've lined it with baking paper. That is a lovely size for this cake. Now, what I have here now is this is my crumble that we put on top of the cake. I have half a cup of shredded coconut and I've got half a cup of plain flour I'm through all this here and I've got a third of a cup of rolled oats. Now I've got here half a quarter of a cup of brown sugar and a quarter of a cup of white sugar and there's, there's a hundred gram of butter through this crumble. What I like to do is to get it all together like that and, and sort of crumble it up. You know, just all nice and crumbled up together like that. And then I'm just going to put it on the cake. So I'll get that all. That's right there. Now we'll put that in the cake tin. Now I've just got all that together, which is, looks beautiful. It's just such a lovely moist cake, which you can have for a dessert. You could put it with a... Uh, cream or ice cream or you could pour some custard over the slices or you can have it for the lunch boxes. Now just put that all in there and spread it out. I may as well use it all up. There we go. It's a, such a beautiful soft batter. It's so nice and moist. Just spread it out evenly all on the tin. Now what I'm going to do is you can see that those berries and those pieces of apricot through it. What I'm going to do now is put all the crumble on top of it 
and I'm going to give it in the oven about 40 to 45 minutes. Now we'll just pour, just sprinkle all that all on top, just all evenly over it. It's, it's quite a good, good bit of crumb. What you can do with this crumble, sometimes what I do also, uh, you can add some ground nuts to it if you want to, like if you're allowed to have nuts. Some people don't use nuts for because the kids are allergic to them. But uh, it does give it a, an extra uh, nice to the crumble. So just pour that all over the sides of the cake. And you just put it all on because it'll take it all. just evenly all over the cake and that will all absorb into the cake and have it form a nice crumble on top of it. It looks a lot but it isn't really because it just all goes into the cake. Now that what it looks like, it's just all nicely with the crumbled on top of that cake. Now I've got my oven on and I'm going to put it in there for about, just test it with your cake tester about 40 to 45 minutes and uh, now what I've done is I've made one I made one yesterday for you to show you and uh, it's very nice and moist I'm going to show you now how I've cut it up you can sprinkle a little bit of icing sugar on it when it comes out to make it look nicer what I've done is I've cut it up this you can cut up in squares, which is really, really nice when you cut it up in squares. Uh, it will keep nice in a cake tin uh, and just cut it up in squares. That's how it looks like. Uh, this is beautiful for a piece of, a piece of that moist cake with, uh, with the crumble on top of it and uh, have some nice cream or custard or ice cream with it, uh, which was beautiful, even for lunch boxes. So uh, uh, that is a very nice, I've been making this all the time, my kids like it and uh, I hope you'll try it and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you for watching.